this video i am going to explain the most most important problem from recurrence relations so this is related to the discrete mathematics and here let me explain you the question suppose the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour so it's going to triple every hour so the first question here is so we have to set up the recurrence relation for the number of the bacteria after n hours have elapsed and the next one the second question here is if 100 bacteria are used to begin a new colony how many bacteria will be there in the colony in 10 hours see here the first of all suppose the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour so it's going to triple every hour so this is the basic information given and the first question here is we have to set up the recurrence relation and next we have to find out find out the explicit formula and the next one is if 100 bacteria are used to begin a new colony how many bacteria will be there in the colony in 10 hours see here for that the first we have to frame the recurrence relation so let an be the number of the bacteria at the end of n hours at the end of n hours see here an is the number of the bacteria at the end of n hours and obviously a n minus 1 is the number of the bacteria at the end of n minus 1 hours see here since the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour so it's going to triple the first point is given here the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour yes since it is given that the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour so here a n is equal to it's going to triple so that is 3 times of a n minus 1 hence the recurrence relation for the number of the bacteria after n hours is an is equal to 3 times of an minus 1 hope you understand this one the first question is solved so we found the recurrence relation see an is the number of the bacteria at the end of n hours and an minus 1 is the number of the bacteria at the end of n minus 1 hours since the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour so an is equal to 3 times of an minus 1 from the data it is given as it's going to triple for each and every hour so an is equal to 3 times of an minus 1 hence this will be the recurrence relation for the number of the bacteria after n hours and the next one we have to find so so we have to find find out the explicit formula for finding the explicit formula what we have to do see here for finding explicit formula so for finding explicit formula so what we have to do so first of all we have to take let a not is equal to 100 see here we need 100 so here we have uh, the recurrence relation as an is equal to see here so this is an is equal to 3 times of an minus 1 so we have an is equal to 3 times of an minus 1 so in this formula so if we keep n is equal to 1 if we put n is equal to 1 see what happens a1 is equal to 3 times of a not so what is a not here so a not is nothing but 100 so a not is equal to 3 into 100 so we can write as a1 so a1 as so this is 3 into 100 and the next one here is if we put n is equal to if we put n is equal to 2 in this equation so in this recurrence relation then this will become a2 is equal to 3 times of 2 minus 1 is a1 so what is a1 from this so a2 is equal to 3 times of this is 3 into 100 and this can be written as a2 is equal to this is 3 square into 100 so please remember a2 is equal to this is 3 square into 100 so this is for a2 and the next one if we keep n is equal to 3 here then what happens a3 is will be so a3 will be see here if we keep n is equal to 3 so 3 times of this is 3 times of a2 so what is a2 from this so a2 is equal to 3 times of this is 3 square into 100 so a3 can be written as this is 3 cube into 100 so a3 is equal to so what is our a3 that is 3 cube into 100 so similarly if we keep on writing like this so we will be getting an is equal to see here 
so if it's 3 there is 3 here if it's 2 there is 2 if it's 1 there is power 1 so 1 2 3 and so on the nth term will be 3 power n into 100 so 3 power n into 100 now we have to prove by using mathematical induction so we can prove this so we can prove by mathematical induction by using the mathematical induction mathematical induction so first of all if we put n is equal to 0 see what happens if we keep n is equal to 0 then a naught is equal to see here a naught is equal to 3 power 0 into 100 so we got a naught is equal to 100 so is this true a naught is equal to 100 so this is true as we have taken a naught is equal to 100 so this is true for n is equal to 1 therefore this is uh, true for n is equal to n is equal to 0 and the next one we assume that it's true for n is equal to k we assume that we assume that it is true it is true for n is equal to k therefore a k is equal to see here a at k is equal to this is 3 power k into 100 and the next one we have to prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so next we have to show that it is true for we need to prove that we need to prove that a k plus 1 is equal to see here 3 power k plus 1 into 100 so we need to prove this see here so in place of n we have to keep k plus 1 so this will be 3 power k plus 1 into 100 so how we have to prove that so we have to prove using the recurrence relation so according to our recurrence relation according to our uh, recurrence relation so we have a recurrence relation ready with us so this is uh, nothing but so what is our recurrence relation just now i found out that is a n is equal to so this is a n is equal to 3 times of a n minus 1 so i am starting with this so i am just taking k plus 1 in place of n put n is equal to k plus 1 put now put n is equal to this is k plus 1 so if i keep k plus 1 so this will be a k plus 1 is equal to 3 times of a this is k plus 1 minus 1 so a k plus 1 is equal to 3 times of a k so i can cancel this um, minus and plus so if i cancel this minus and plus minus and plus so this is not so if i cancel this minus and plus then see this will be three times of ak so what is ak here so just now i found ak is equal to 3 power k into 100 so this is nothing but 3 power k into 100 from this so ak is equal to so this is uh, 3 power k into 100 so i can write this as 3 power k plus 1 into 100 so we got the result as so if it's a k plus 1 so a k plus 1 so this is nothing but a k plus 1 plus 100 so this is satisfying the equation so this is satisfying the equation a n is equal to 3 power n into 100 so if it's a k plus 1 so 3 power k plus 1 into 100 so this is 3 power k plus 1 into 100 so we got we started with lhs and we got rhs so lhs is equal to rhs so this is lhs we got rhs therefore a power n is equal to so a n so a n is equal to 3 power n into 100 so so this is 3 power n into 100 so by the principle of mathematical induction it is true for all positive integers therefore this will be the explicit formula so this is nothing but the explicit formula now so what is the question asked here so after getting the explicit formula if 100 bacteria are used to begin a new colony how many bacteria will be there in the colony after 10 years so here n value is equal to 10 so if we take n is equal to for the second question here for the second question put n is equal to 10 
So after 10 hours, what will be the bacteria in the colony? So this is the formula. And in this formula, if you keep 10 here, then this will be 3 part 10 into 100. So this is 3 part 10 into 100. So which is equal to, this is uh, 5 ninth. So this is, see here. So you can use your calci and this is 59 lakh 4900 and this is the bacteria and therefore the number of the bacteria in the colony after 10 hours is see this is 59 lakh 4900 see here i'm writing therefore the number of the bacteria therefore the number of bacteria the number of the bacteria in a colony in a colony in 10 hours will be so this is 59 lakh 4000 and 900 and this is how we have to solve see here the question is also so simple suppose the number of the bacteria in a colony triples every hour so it's going to triple every hour so we have to set up a recurrence relation we have to frame an explicit formula and then we have to keep the required question here so if 100 bacteria are used to begin a new colony so beginning we used 100 therefore a naught we have taken as 100 and how many bacteria will be there in the colony in 10 hours see here let a n be the number of the bacteria at the end of n hours a n minus n is the number of the bacteria at the end of n minus hours since it is given that the number of the bacteria in the colony triples every hour a n is equal to 3 times of a n minus 1 and this will be the recurrence formula and after that see here the question asked here so we have to frame an explicit formula so initially they begin with a naught is equal to 100 so we have the recurrence relation so what is the recurrence relation a n is equal to 3 times of a n minus 1 so i have uh, taken this one so using this a n is equal to 3 n minus 1 we have to keep n is equal to 1 2 and 3 so in general we got a n is equal to 3 power n into 100 so this is nothing but an explicit formula so explicit formula so we have to check whether this is true or not using the mathematical induction first n is equal to 0 so after keeping n is equal to 0 we got a naught is equal to 100 so which is true with this statement and the next one you know, we have to assume that it is true for n is equal to k and after that we need to prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so here in this recurrence relation so in this recurrence relation if i put n is equal to k plus 1 in lhs so this is lhs so here if i start with this a k plus 1 is equal to 3 into a k so a k is nothing but from this statement see what is a k from this 3 power k into 100 so this is uh, 3 power k into 100 so this will be 3 power k plus 1 into 100 so lhs is equal to rhs so if you keep n is equal to k plus 1 it is true on both sides therefore we say that according to the mathematical induction by the principle of induction it is true for every positive integer therefore this will be the explicit uh, formula and see here the question here is asked if 100 bacteria are used to begin a new colony how many bacteria will be there in the colony in 10 hours so n is equal to 10 so in 10 hours what is the number of the bacteria a n is equal to 3 power n into 100 is explicit formula and in this if you keep n is equal to 10 we will be getting 59 lakh 4900 bacteria in 10 hours so this is how we have to solve so simple so definitely you can solve any problem of this kind and if you really like you know what to do please raise your thumb Leave a comment below and share it with your friends.